Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Uh, today we'll be working on the LS engine again. Uh, been on a little hiatus because of school, family, and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, I apologize for that. I'm trying to get more content out. It's just kind of hard lately. But, uh, yeah, so we'll hop back into the engine. Today we're going to be doing the timing chain dampener. Uh, that's by TrickFlow. And I'll show you guys how to do it. It's a quick little video, but hopefully that helps you guys out there. Okay. So here's the timing chain dampener. It actually comes, I already put it on, because <laughs> it's that quick. But uh, so I already put it on, here's the instructions. Uh, so if you can see that bracket uh, number one right here, that actually bolts to the block because there's no holes for the new style uh, dampener to bolt up there. So that'll bolt to your block, with, um, which I use the ARP um, bolt kit for that one. And the retainer plate, I did ARP for that one as well. Um, so basically there's three bolts they include for those. And then you're supposed to use your OEM bolt for the top one up here on the retainer plate. But I just went ahead and did all four uh, ARP. And uh, I didn't use their bolts. <clears throat> but, I mean, you can if you want to. I just went ARP everything. As you can see, I did cam bolts, everything ARP. So, uh, yeah, basically... You bolt that first bracket up, which goes behind this cam sprocket here. Um, and that goes on there with those three bolts. It has these two little, I guess you could say, uh, nipples on there. And that rubber, <clears throat> this rubber part right here, this little actual dampener part, that just presses onto there. Um, <clears throat> and then they actually include these little aluminum spacers in case you need them. Um, but I don't. I think they say it's, it's usually a tan color if you need them. But I guess if it's uh, 400 thousands, you need the spacers. If not, you don't. Um, <clears throat> and then all you do is take some... <clears throat> I'm going to take some of this orange uh, removable high strength thread locker. And I'm going to put those on the edge of the threads. And then these little button bolts they have here. I think they're like 20 mil uh, in length. <clears throat> These just go in here, and these get torqued to 18 foot-pounds, um, and that's honestly it. <laughs> it's a pretty easy install, uh, so just do uh, line, line the actual plate up with your retainer plate back here, and if you have a used engine, I would order a new part because there's a little seal on the back of that, and it, it gets worn out. Um, so definitely replace that one. It's super cheap. Um, it, I think it came with bolts actually, but I went ahead and ordered the ARP bolts, which are also cheap. All these timing chain area bolts for ARP are super affordable, so you might as well just do it. Um, that way you don't have anything coming apart. And then make sure you do the thread locker so nothing comes apart um, because that would suck because it would throw off your timing and you float some valves or blow the engine. So, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so basically line the dampener up with the retainer plate back here put your three bolts in and the one on top goes in uh torque does this back which i believe are 18 foot pounds um and then press the dampener on um and then these little button bolts right here which i don't like because they have an allen key <laughs> but those go on there and those get torqued to uh, about 18 foot pounds as well so that's pretty much it uh just make sure your timing chain is lined up um dot to dot and uh, also torque your cam bolts to spec, which I believe is also like 18 foot pounds. I could be wrong, I can't remember. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so that's that part. Uh, since this video is so freaking short, I think we're gonna do a push rod measuring video with it. But that wraps up today's quick little tech video, I guess you could say. Uh, if you like it, let me know. If not, let me know, and I won't make any more. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later, dudes.